Hello, this is Digital Dental Marketing Made Easy by myself. I am Natalia Porras. Today I'm going to be going over some absolute must that you need to have on your website. Now you might have just finished your new website or you might be considering on creating a new website altogether. Make sure to go over this list and take note to ensure that your website is meeting best practices. Please consider subscribing to this channel so that you get notified every time we post up a new video. And we like to provide you with the best advice on how to grow your dental or medical practice making use of smart digital marketing strategies. I've created a list in no particular order of all the items that you need to ensure that your website is hitting on in order to make sure that it is following best practices. I'm going to be demonstrating all such best practices on a website that we recently completed for one of our clients. Number one is I want you to minimize the use of stock photography and you maximize the usage of custom professional photography for your clinic. If you see on this page, on this website, you could see immediately that you see the photo of the dentist in action. And if you surf around, you're going to see that uh, we've taken pictures of the team, of patients, of the clinic, and they're all made specifically for this clinic. The reason why you're doing this is because you don't want your website to look like a template kind of website. You want it to differentiate yourself, your clinic. So make sure once again that you minimize the use of stock photography. Now I'm going to show you how we've done this on this website as well. Let's take a look at Smile Transformation as one of our links. So here we did make use of stock photography um, at the top, but then we combined that with custom photography and a bit of stock photography again and then custom photography. So that's the way that you would do it. Second tip that I have for you is that you want to make sure that you have that book and appointment button prominent and studies have shown that if you have it on the right hand side that is one of the best places where people click the most. So right here on the right hand side is where you want to have it. You could also do something which is that you have it repeat at the bottom of your page and for this one in particular, we have it on every single page for this website. So it's going to always be on the top menu and then once again on the bottom menu. Tip number three, your website should be mobile optimized or sometimes that's called being responsive. What that means is very simple, is that your website is adapting to the size of any kind of screen where your users are accessing your website from. And the reality today is that the majority of people are accessing your website directly from their phone. So you want to make sure that your website can adapt to that screen size. And this is how this website would look like from a mobile phone. Tip number Four, you want to make sure that you are writing your own content. and I'm going to be providing you a couple of points of things that you must have on your website and you're going to be the person that is searching for this content. What I mean is try not to get any kind of generic or templated content that you would find online. So one thing that you could add that would be your own would be testimonials and reviews. And what I would recommend is um, to put them on the bottom of your home page. The second thing that you want to make sure if you're writing your own content is to simplify your content. You're not writing for dentists unless you're a specialist. And even then you want to make sure that you are simplifying your content and any kind of writing that you have so that um, patients can really understand what you are writing about. And um, the third thing I would say is that any kind of language that you use on your website you have to really think about those unique points that differentiate your practice and use those on your website. Tips five and six relate to your home page. Now, your home page is what I like to call prime real estate. So you need to be picky about what you put on your home page. You, what I would recommend is that you choose your top four, three to four treatments is what I would say. And that's what you're going to be putting on your home page. 
Anything else also that is important to your clinic, you would be putting on your homepage. But you want to make sure that it's not a very long list of different things so that it doesn't become noisy or overwhelming for anyone who is vis visiting your, your clinic's website. Um, over here, we selected very carefully what kind of treatments would go on the homepage, making sure that these were high value treatments for the clinic. Last but not least is branding. You want to make sure that your website is reflecting the kind of branding that you have within your clinic. That means use the same color palette that you've used within your clinic and make sure that if you have brand guidelines, if you've talked about, for example, your website being, I mean, your clinic being modern, make sure that your website is reflecting that and that there is no discrepancy be between your website and what your clinic represents. Comment below if you think that your website is making use of all of these best practices. Let us know if you have any questions and also let us know if this was a valuable video for you. Make sure to share this with your colleagues and friends and do not forget to subscribe to this channel. We have put together for you the ultimate freebie which has a, it is a four step guide and it should become your how to guide for anything related to digital marketing for a dental practice make sure to download it. The link is below. Until next time.